week at Wagner School was filled with fun, excitement, and laughter. We had sparkling eyes of kindergartners as they met their teachers for the first time, first graders practicing breakout rooms in Zoom using their stuffed animals. A kindergarten teacher reflected that the sound of teacher, teacher, teacher had never seemed so sweet as it was when all of her kindergarten students learned how to unmute at the same time on the first day. One young second grader said it best when he said, I can do it, I am smart, I smile, I am brave. Wagner Eagles are fearless when it comes to navigating this exciting new way of learning. My favorite first day story from Gary's school comes from a little boy in first grade whose family was considering moving him from dual to English only. So our literacy coach, classroom teacher, social worker, and I came together to discuss the implications of this with the family. Grandma said that while she was in the reading group and with her grandson and the teacher, that he read the fastest she had ever heard him read, and she didn't even know that he could read like that. She told the teacher how incredible she was, how happy it made her grandson, and that she felt a whole lot better knowing the people who were going to provide the supports her grandson needed in the dual environment. What this new 2021 school year has shown me is that the way we connect with students and families continues to expand. As everyone embraces this new process, new ways of connecting are emerging. This new normal has challenged us all to step out of our comfort zone and become innovators in so many ways. What has not changed is the excitement of students and teachers on the first day of school. Some of my teachers reached out and were emotional when sharing how excited the students were to be back and how they all expressed how much they missed being at school. Even with technical difficulties, a parent had their student use their phone just to stay connected with the class. This just shows the commitment that our families have with their child's education. Today is our first cross country practice at Lehman Middle School and all of our runners came very prepared and today we had a special visitor that hung out with us for the entire cross country practice. Do you like him? Prior to the start of the school year, tensions were running high with a lot of anticipatory stress. And with social emotional well-being at the forefront of everyone's mind, it has been a true joy to see how both students, families, and staff have maintained their sense of humor. Some of the wonderful things that I witnessed this week that made me laugh and reminded me of why we love children so much has been through some of the getting to know you activities that teachers have been doing in their classroom. One of my teachers shared with me a screenshot of one of her get to know you activities in Seesaw. One of the questions was, what is your favorite season? But in Spanish, the question is, ¿Cuál es tu favorita estación? The student's response was 107.9, as in a radio station, instead of fall, winter, summer, or spring. Estación in Spanish can be the season or a radio station. It has been such a joy to see how, in the midst of all of this, we have been able to keep our sense of humor, and that is so good for the soul. The first week of school taught me about human spirit. Uh, as a first year principal, um, it was amazing to see teachers and parents and students rally together in order to create something that I believe is going to be uh, an effective alternative for um, being in the building so that way everybody can stay safe. I think some of our favorite memories from this week were simply our interactions with one another. From sharing about how many teeth the student lost this summer from our dismissal routine. Students are able to give their teacher a fist bump, a wave, a high five, or a virtual hug. And they know that after they do that, they can sign out of the meeting and their school day is over. However, most of the students choose to stay in the meeting until everybody has said goodbye, just so they can have one more interaction with their classmates. So I know the school year might not have started the way that we all wanted it to. However, it's just a simple reminder how important it is to continue to build those relationships and make those connections with our students. 
Many of our preschool teachers worried about how they would make connections with three to five year olds in a virtual world. Could they build relationships? Would students remember them from last year? My favorite beginning of the school year story demonstrates that it is possible. A student had just turned four years old on the day of a home visit. When he saw the faces of his teacher, teacher assistants, and speech language therapist appear on the Zoom call, he was beside himself with joy and exclaimed, is this my birthday party? He was so excited to see all of his teachers from last year. He wanted to know if the school had been cleaned so that he could come back. It was wonderful that our teachers could help him celebrate his special day. So if there's something that the first few days of remote learning has taught me as principal of Curry Elementary School, it's that my staff and students are built for this. We know that there's challenges getting connected with our kids and staying connected with our kids, but the innovation that's gonna come out of this time far outweighs the challenges that we're experiencing now, and I'm super excited about that. A story that illustrates this well is when a teacher shared with me that a student who was visiting her grandmother outside of the country couldn't make it back for school in the first few weeks. Um, but on day one of instruction, day one that student was in attendance and that student has been in attendance every day since then. And his teacher said, this just makes me so happy. This opens up so many opportunities for me now and in the future uh, that I hadn't thought about before. And, and for me, that type of innovation and being able to remain connected with our kids no matter what the circumstance, is super exciting, and I know that it's gonna allow us to serve our students better now and in the future. The District 33 Board of Education and Administration acknowledge the importance of in-person learning and are committed to bringing back staff and students in a safe and timely manner. We are proud of our staff, students, and families for going above and beyond to ensure the best possible start to the Fall District 33 Online Learning Academy. Thank you for all of your efforts in getting us off to such a great start.